Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike, and tonight we are talking Super Tuesday. It's getting nuts. No big surprises thus far, but we're still very early in the night. I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are as the results come in, and also what I think is going to happen and what that means for the future of the Democratic primary. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Let's get into it. Okay, jumping right into this one. So, uh, this is from the New York Times website, uh, and so obviously a reliable source. <laughs> uh, but here, here's the, here's the thing, real quick. You, it's very important to give credit where it's due. I criticize the New York Times a lot, but if you are someone who who follows politics, who thinks this stuff is is interesting. On nights like tonight, there's nobody better than the New York Times in terms of just just the pure data, just the numbers. There's nobody better. They're constantly doing real-time live updates. So, I mean, there is 100% nobody better. So, again, credit where it's due. And getting into it, as you can see, the dark purple here is states that have been called for joe biden and you may see some there are some east coast states here which have yet to be called um and that's probably because in fact it is because they are very close races as far as i know um so my point is they haven't stopped it's just that there's enough of a lead where they're confident enough that that state is going to go for that particular delegate. And I have yet to see, uh, I have yet to see a state be called and then flipped, at least in my lifetime. Uh, there was a very, there was a very famous, uh, I guess you, you would call it a miscall, the 1948 election. The newspapers all thought that the challenger had defeated the incumbent in a, dem in a presidential election, not a primary. So to that, I would say uh, that that's the famous newspaper where uh, it's, it's Truman, it's Harry Truman, 1948, and he's holding up the newspaper like, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Dewey defeats Truman. So I guess to that, I would say the fake news has always been here. <laughs> um, but but yeah, that was that was in a time before they could issue corrections. But I as like I said, I have yet to see something where they call a state and it flips personally maybe maybe that happened in 2000 with florida maybe no idea so as you can see here north carolina virginia tennessee alabama arkansas oklahoma have all been called for joe biden uh interesting to note he's doing very well in conservative leaning areas but the important ones the big contests are Texas and California, the two most populous states in the union, both up for grabs on Super Tuesday. California has something like, so I heard something earlier that was like 48% of the delegates going out tonight are just in those two states, just in California and Texas. And furthermore, it's obviously impossible because Bernie's won Colorado and Bernie has won Vermont. Um, if, if all the delegates went to a single person, that would be enough to get the election from just the states going up tonight. So you have basically one quarter because you need roughly half the delegates to get the election. So basically one quarter of all the delegates are in Texas and California. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But, but I, I do think it's fair. We do have a proportional voting system for the president. So I think it's fair that that is reflected uh, in the primary process. Uh, it's important to note that even Bernie had said that it's not the popular vote um, that should determine 
uh, who gets the delegates or who that who wins the primary uh it's the delegate count so but i do think it's fair that california texas obviously they have the most people one person one vote they do have the most people so i, I do think that's 100 percent fair it is it's also something important to note the republican and the democratic parties are private organizations they're not two political parties which were inscribed into our constitution in fact many of the founders were vast were hugely against any form of political party and i'm sure they would have been incensed to know that the party has split or or the country has split among two party lines but i've also seen people say that it was inevitable the way things were set up this is how it was going to happen and we've always had two parties you had um the Whigs for a while uh, and the Democratic Republicans were a party for a long time um, I can't think of any others off the top of my head but it's always been two major parties and the rest except for the I believe is the 1908 election could have been 1904 but uh, there was the bull moose party where Teddy Roosevelt because he's a boss <laughs> just was uh, he didn't get the Republican nomination so he just made his own party and ran got like 23 percent of the vote something like that and the republicans lost obviously um but i'm seeing people on twitter saying bold moose part two with bernie if he doesn't do well tonight but again all all the the two main ones are texas and california north carolina has the third most delegates up for grabs tonight and joe biden got that but if bernie gets north carolina if bernie gets california and texas there you go. I, I think that's enough. I think that's enough for him. And he's winning in Texas right now. Let's see if we can get an update here. 28.9% of the vote for Bernie Sanders right now. So a five-point lead with roughly one quarter of the counties. It's not the total vote, but the counties reporting. So we'll see how that uh, ends up turning out. Uh, another interesting tidbit, Tulsi Gabbard has gotten her first delegate. So Godspeed, Tulsi. Uh, certainly a person with integrity um, and here we have Bloomberg who has has done about as well as expected um, he blew it in the debates he blew it he had his chance he blew it he recently said that his only chance of winning is now in a brokered convention which definitely definitely true um, I'm just seeing something here. No surprise that the Biden surge came to a halt in Colorado. It's the state where advanced, advanced vote made up the largest share of the likely electorate. And that's actually a good segue. The, the, the mainstream media and the Democratic establishment, who I consider to be the same entity, are they are coming out hard, hard against Joe Biden. So for those of you who don't know, very recently, um, Beto O'Rourke, a former Texas congressman, Klobuchar, Amy Klobuchar, as well as Pete Buttigieg, all came out for Joe Biden just before this. So the establishment is coalescing around Joe Biden, uh, for better or worse. They are coalescing around Joe Biden. Um, and it is clear, the bias is clear. I should say, I, I was watching CNN for a while, reading some New York Times pieces. I'm seeing what people are saying on Twitter. The, the establishment does not want Bernie. They are pushing back hard against Bernie. Um, I, I'm, I'm torn, as I'm sure many of you are out there. I do not want Bernie because he's a socialist, which I am not. I believe that socialism is antithetical to what it means to be an American. And yet, <laughs> and yet it is clear that he had the election stolen from him in 2016. And it is clear the establishment is, if not outright cheating, nudging things along. And, you know, that's why, that's why I'm, I'm not saying they shouldn't do that. Whoever votes should 
the voters, the people, should decide the elections, not superdelegates or establishment elites or anything like that. But I did see... Uh, I did see a couple of interesting points. There is, There was one person that says, um, who cares? Who cares if these other people um, endorse uh, Biden over Bernie? Who cares? Because at the end of the day, the people are still voting. People are still going out and voting, which I absolutely sympathize with. I think that's very, very fair. It's like, yeah, look, I'm, personally... I don't care who Oprah endorses. <laughs> I don't care who The Rock endorses. I don't really care who anybody uh, endorses. And as we're speaking here, uh, Oklahoma just got called for uh, Joe Biden. No big shock there. Um, very red state. And that is also something interesting to note. The red states, quote unquote red um, conservative leaning, I should say, not red as in communism. <laughs> the red states seem to be overwhelmingly going for Bernie. Overwhelmingly. Um, so I think that's something interesting to note, that perhaps the more centrist-leaning people, or excuse me, not Bernie, Biden, the more centrist-leaning people are going for Joe Biden. So I, I sympathize with people who are voting for Joe Biden, and I sympathize with the Bernie supporters because I can't stand the establishment types. I can't stand them, but I can't stand the socialists more. <laughs> um, so I, I'm, I, I, I sympathize with both sides. I really do. I really do. Um, I'm a Trump supporter, 100% Trump supporter. Not, I'm certainly not a never or an always Trumper. He's done a lot wrong, a lot worthy of criticism. Certainly a lot of things that I wouldn't do. But there's no way, there's nobody in this race who I would vote for. Nobody. I'm not even Tulsi. Not even Tulsi. I, I would consider Tulsi. We would see what the, the, it's impossible for her, obviously. But if she was elected, I think I would have some soul searching to do. Just because I think she's a person with integrity. And, and here's the thing with, um, here's the thing with Joe Biden. Here's my problem with him. He's too old. I said it in a previous video. Uh, I'm going to be making a couple of playlists with just breakdowns of candidates and things of that nature. So it's easier to find certain topics on my channel. But my thing with Joe Biden, he's too old. He is too old. I, I mean, and I, he, I want to be careful because I personally know people who have struggled with dementia and i honestly i honestly think that he's he's not all there i really think that so i mean to have somebody like that in the white house would be very disconcerting to say the least the dude's too old he's just too old so who's who's steering the ship of state at that point i would say it's probably the bureaucrats it's probably the establishment because he's he's not up to the task. He even said recently, um, or I should say a few months ago, he's like, look, my VP pick is very important. He actually said this. He's like, I might not. He didn't say I might not make it four years, but it was heavily, heavily implied. Like, look, my VP is very important. Very important. And I agree. Sanders, I, I believe Sanders could do the job. I think um, I think he would do it poorly. Because he, he and I have ideological differences. But I think he could do the job. I don't think Joe could actually do the job. And I think he's the only, if, as you can see, the four major candidates left. He's the only one of those four that I don't think is physically able to do the job. Um, and Bernie's just socialist. I, You know, some people may not consider that a term of derision, but I certainly do. So... Back to Super Tuesday <laughs> before I go off on a, uh, another tangent. California and Texas. California is going to be the big one. 408 delegates. That's crazy. Largest state in the union. It's, it, California is something like the fifth largest economy on planet Earth. Just California. That's nuts. It's nuts. And Bernie's putting all of his eggs in the California basket. All of them. Every single one. 
We'll see how it goes. Uh, as you can see, no reporting data from either California or uh, Utah, which would be the, which is actually, it, it's actually quite interesting. Um, because Texas does have some states in mountain time, which I suspect is why uh, we're having delayed results. But Colorado is mostly mountain time. And yet they've already called that. Um, and Utah, obviously, is 100% mountain time. So so it's just an interesting... We'll see how it plays out. Maybe there's something to this. Probably not. <laughs> but maybe there is. Because Utah, all, all in mountain time. Colorado, all in mountain time. But they've already called it. So it's very, very interesting. Um, so I'll leave it there for tonight. I'm going to continue to watch this. I'll be doing a bigger breakdown of the results tomorrow, so tune in. <laughs> um, to close, I don't know who's gonna win. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make any predictions. But I would say this: I don't think either of them could be Trump. I don't, and it's just it's not just because I support him. He's got the incumbent advantage. He's got the economy. The one thing that could do Trump in, in this 2020 election. And I think some of you may agree, some not. The one thing that could do Trump in is the coronavirus. If this gets out of hand, which I don't believe it will, I don't believe it's bad, or I, I think it'll get bad, but not horrible. There'll be some disruption, but it's not going to be anything insane. But if it does get bad people are going to start saying we need someone else in there I think that's the only way that either of these candidates could win either Biden or Sanders whoever it is and the last thing I'll finish up with is this the Milwaukee Democratic uh, what would, what's the uh, caucus not caucus or primary Whatever that giant event is <laughs> that they officially say who the who the candidate is, that's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. The the national convention, the Democratic National Convention in Milwaukee is going to be crazy. If Bernie, it's going to be crazy if Bernie does get it. If he doesn't, his supporters will riot. I'm calling it right now. It's going to be riots in Milwaukee. Don't go to Milwaukee that weekend, folks. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you all for listening. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube. Hit that bell notification so you can get notified every time I upload. Like this video and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Have a good evening. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Minds, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.